If there's one thing Plague Moth loves to do, it's project his faults onto others. He calls other people pedophiles when he saves pictures of naked children. He calls other people homophobes and transphobes when he engages in that behavior himself. He calls other people doxers when he doxes them. He calls other people false reporters when he false reports other people. Basically, anything this man says, you know that he is guilty of it himself and is making it up about others. So, no surprise that when he makes up the fact that other people are racist, saying that basically everyone who doesn't like him or has any criticism for his work is a bigot. You know when he calls other people racist, of course he's going to have racist posts from his past including calling people an n-word lover, including calling for the destruction of the Semitic roots of evil ruining our society? Like, what the fuck, dude? So I get it. You moved on, so answer your phone. If not, I'm calling the police for your parents. I'm done playing games. You lied. You have a few minutes. You blank loving whore. That is why you wouldn't see me, all those times, and you bitched at me not to be paranoid. I've seen your shit, you fucking slut. I'll show everyone how much of a slut you are. You know how, so fuck you, you blown out whore. You're rabbit too. What? You ugly fucking cunt I stuck by your side, and you lied and cheated just like Samantha. Same old whore. I hope you and die for the shit you've done, whore. I can't believe I believed your lies again. You loser, bipolar cunt. Your shit family runs your life, slut. And I will always love you still, but fuck you for being such a lying coward. I tell you if I was going to cheat, liar. Enjoy your blown-out pussy and asshole, like every guy has a slut. Plague Moth will say, oh, I grew out of that. Did you really? Because you were supporting Burzum up until recently, and you fucking knew it was a neo-Nazi group. Because the one dude in it is a fucking neo-Nazi. You knew he was, you still didn't drop the band until people started calling you out for it. In fact, here's your Amazon wish list where you were asking people to buy you Burzum merchandise. This, despite the fact that Plague Moth has said that the one Burzum hoodie he had was actually bootleg because he would never give any money to Burzum and he would never buy anything authentically. Here's your fucking wish list where you're asking people to give Burzum money by virtue of moving their merchandise. So this dude who makes Pride Month videos, this dude who says he's a voice for victims, this dude who says that he supports the oppressed, this dude who calls himself the liberal, woke, gore YouTuber who is hated because the far right doesn't like him because of his gender fluidity and all of this shit, is a fucking closet racist. And if none of this bothers you, if you yourself are a racist, if you think that all of this is just, you know, right on the money, at least you should be annoyed by the fucking hypocrisy of this dude. Absolutely everything this guy accuses other people of doing is provably what he has been doing. It is absurd. Now these images come from uh, court filings. That's why they're such shit. Because people, you know, doing the court filing don't care about whether or not you at home uh, get a crisp clean image. They're just, you know, making records of shit. So a lot of this stuff is printed out. Uh, scanned and rescanned by boomers within the legal system, unfortunately. And I want to point out that Plague Moth is going to say that these are faked and say, you know, why is it black and white? Why does it look so degraded? And the dumb fucking thing is, if somebody was going to fake a screenshot, they would fake a nice, crisp, clean image. They would just use Inspect Element to fake something. Just like when Plague Moth faked this screenshot that has a ton of fucking problems with it. Why would you ever fake something by making it look like a goddamn shitty photocopy? Now, not only do we have abject racism from Dylan Morgan, Plague Moth here, an abject racist uh, and anti-Semite, but we also have him, you know, calling people whores, you know, different things like that, misogyny, degrading to, you know, people who are, I guess, promiscuous in his eyes. Um, a big supporter of sex workers, by the way. Plague Moth supports sex workers in so much as he can get free nudes from them. Or in the case of this one person who was fundraising for him, uh, he can use them for money, which is sort of like digital pimping, in a way. Can we coin a new phrase? 
I know that digital blackface didn't catch on very well. <laughs> can we can we coin the term digital pimping for Plague Moth right now? But yeah, none of this is any fucking surprise to anybody involved. As it turns out, the person who has faked a bunch of allegations against other people is guilty of literally everything he has accused them of. Now, Plague Moth would say, probably, uh, Oh, that was in my past. I grew past that. I was only 18, 19, 20 at the time. I grew out of that. But hey, wait a minute, Plague Moth. It seems to me that that creepy reading was in that debate where he was debating on the side of uh, drawn images of Lollicon or whatever the fuck, and he was saying, you know, what harm does it do because they're just images and not real, you know, children? And then he changed his position after that debate and said, oh, wait, no, you're right. Yeah, this is actually fucked. Um, it seems to me that that creepy reading, his whole thing was that he said it was a position he held that he no longer held, that he grew out of it, that he got past it, that he listened to other people's opinions and realized that they were right. Now, is that the defense that you're going to use, Plague Moth? About your old racist, anti-Semitic posts? About your misogynistic, hateful posts? Where you wished for a baby to die? Is that what you're going to say? You grew out of it? Because you're not allowed to use that defense anymore, you little bitch. Because you said nobody else can.